Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of the TRX4M Defender Project. Hey everyone, just want to welcome you to episode two. Uh, I've got a really great uh, project out here for you. Uh, so on this one, what we're going to do for a TRX4M is we are going to build an outdoor course. Uh, so this video is going to go over how I did that and everything, and I hope y'all enjoy it. So I've got uh, some room over here. I kind of measured out from about like here to the grass line to about over here. It's about nine feet. I can do about four feet or three feet this way on this area right in here. So what I'm going to do is I think what I want to have for the rock thing is right about here over this route, I want to put like a square, kind of a square place where I can make a turn to go this way, make a turn to go this way and a turn to come this way and maybe something coming off this way too as well. So uh, I think this will be a good spot to have some rock crawling out here. Uh, if you look over here, we've got a lot of plants and other things like that that my mother-in-law uses to grow stuff. You know, got a bed over here in this area right over here. She uses to grow some stuff uh, to, that we eat on an occasional basis. So I got some old wood. I just want to do a kind of mock-up at least with the back right here in the middle. I want to put that down first. So I can get that square place right in there and then I can build the ramps off of it at different heights and levels to do kind of a climb up there and a climb down. And so I can use different kinds of rocks. I mean, I have these, y'all seen the ones, the other rocks that I have over in the back, but I do have a lot of different rocks around here. So we'll kind of get that started. So I'm gonna make the square platform in the back, kind of get it mounted. I'll probably have to do some leveling on it though. Uh, make sure it's in the ground right. And then after that, I'll put the rest of the rocks over there and kind of build the ramps on and off of it. So hopefully it'll be kind of cool. So there'll be different approaches. You know, I can come this way, you know, I can come this way. I can come this way here, maybe one over here, have something maybe come around here and something like that. So I can do the different kinds of different approaches, but you know, I do live down here in uh, Pearland, you know, in Texas. So I don't have a lot of like riverbeds or anything like that, or a lot of rock formations. So this will be kind of cool. So I got the table, uh, you know, the center part built right here. Just use a couple boards, a uh, bunch of two by fours here and uh, kind of synchronized, synced it up like that. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, so this is where it's gonna kind of be at, I think. I kind of want it right about there. So that'll give me some room over here. I think I got the first plank here that I'm gonna put on this side. So I'm gonna put some two by fours underneath, anchor it down to that, and then we can uh, kind of bring everything out. So I'll end up uh, probably screw those two by fours in there. I think I'll do a two by four coming out probably the front, and then another one over there on the side so we can secure some more. I'm gonna have to buy some more of that 11, 11 inch. It's about a 12 foot by like quarter of an inch or whatever. I need to buy some more of that to create the rest of the ramps, but should be good. So I've got everything all situated now. Uh, looks like so I've got the board down. I've got the bracers right here. I got three of them going. I think I'm gonna put that, that one right there and kind of make that the easy traverse. And then I'm gonna think I'm gonna do, I need to get some more of this, this rut, like I said before. And think over here, what I'm gonna do, so I'll stand over here so you can see it better. I think I'm gonna make this a big long one it kind of stretches like way over there to make it kind of like an easy one way up. And then over here, I think I'm gonna do like an L shape. So I'll do an L shape that'll come about here and it'll go down to here and probably swing out maybe right over in here. So I want the entry point to probably be about here, right about here, kind of, you know, where the grass kind of starts and dies. So that way I'm not really, I'm not really killing any of my grass or anything like that. And it's just kind of out here in the open where like it would normally be, so. Well, let me get the rest of the wood and I'll get those pieces made and we'll get to see how it looks. So I've uh, put down some rocks here to kind of get an idea of like what I'm going to do right here. And then uh, I built this piece right here. So it's going to be kind of a steep incline into something a little smaller. So I think this will be a good test like for steep inclines. I think it's about like a 50 degrees. So that'll be like a more advanced portion of the course. And then over here, Need to go grab another board, but I'm gonna make uh, another board that long. This one's not gonna be a grad, this one's gonna be kind of a gradual incline. But what I'm gonna use this one for is I'm gonna do like some river rocks 
and so it'll be a lot of articulation so it's just more of articulation trying to get over and up above it so that should be about it so i'm really liking how this is turning out so uh so we'll uh come back tomorrow after i get that uh that far that far piece done and then we'll uh start putting some rocks down on it so i'm working on the long part here what i'm doing is i just got a piece of wood and then i got a one by three to mount on the sides so when I combine the two boards together, because it's a one, uh, it's a one by eight, so it'll be you know like about one by fifteen in the middle, which will give me lots of room. But this is the one where I want to do the river rocks, so I need to have something that's got some sides on it to hold the rocks in. Because on the bottom, I'll uh, I'll make sure I put some I'll put some glue down and I'm, I'll put some Loctite with all the ones that are like kind of down here on the bottom right here. I'll put some Loctite in all the ones that are down there to help balance it out. So. Uh, that's why I'm uh, doing these boards on the side so I can kind of, you know, and that way, hopefully I won't tip over. We'll see. But uh, that's why I'm doing it on this long piece here. So uh, got it all together. I use these little plates right here. Hold that side. Hopefully that should hold most of the rocks after I glue them in and everything. And on the bottom side here, got some braces to help hold it, keep it stable and everything like that. When I put all the rocks in, it should hold everything together, hopefully. And so we, it's night out now. So tomorrow I'll get it all installed and we'll put it out there and we can see what it looks like as a finished product. Okay, so the track's all done and built now. As you can tell, I widened this first section a little bit. I put another eight, eight inch in there. So it's a lot bigger now. Uh, I've got a very steep incline here. Uh, not quite sure the degrees, but, and then I built a little pathway over here so I can crawl over here. And then over here, I've got kind of a, Simple like riverbed, there's a lot of river rocks in there. And so it starts down there, you can crawl up here, and then you can move over in here. So uh, that's pretty much it. Well, we'll be back in a little bit and I'll uh, put the Defender on and we will we'll see how well it does on each of the courses and see if it can do everything. This will be a good one because it's the base, it's the base, nothing's been done to it yet. Uh, original gears everything nothing's been done so we'll we'll definitely check it out and see if it can crawl up uh here if it can crawl here and if it can crawl there so uh i've got everything together now uh you can see ramp here that ramp and that ramp what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how a stock one does on my new course and you know so we can give it some uh, comparisons on uh, what it's going to be like when I start upgrading it to see how well it handles the course. Place it. A little on the back heavy side. Let's see if we place it a little higher. Well, can't make it up there, okay. Let's test it maybe over here. Nope, too heavy on that side. Let's see if we place it about middle. It can get up. Okay, so middle it can get up.
Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed episode two uh, when I built my outdoor course. It was a lot of fun. Uh, my daughters helped me out. Uh, I went around and got a lot of pieces of uh, rocks and everything from uh, uh, around, uh, around where my trees are out in the front yard. I grabbed a whole bunch of rocks and river rocks from uh, on the side of my house. But pretty much in the wood, I bought about, I think it was about 20, 30 bucks worth of wood. Uh, all the rest of the wood I had laying around and the other wood that I had I picked up at Home Depot for those one, I guess those one by eights, I guess. Because uh, I I mean, I, I was looking at the one by twelves. The twelves were a little bit longer. Uh, I didn't want to do twelves because the twelves seemed a little short when I did on that middle board. So that's why I went with by, the, by the one by eights. So I bought a couple of those. But other than that, it was a lot of fun building the project. Uh, I really like how the TRX 4M Defender is performing on my track, I guess, or the outdoor course. Uh, I can't go up the the incline, the steep incline, which is good. I, I didn't figure if I could go something out of the box, it would be really easy for me to do. Uh, the second thing is on the river rocks where there's a lot of articulation. I was having problems with that. I think uh, with upgrades, that should get better as well as the front one. I can only go up certain lines. so. I really do enjoy uh, this hobby so far. It's a lot of fun, and I hope y'all are enjoying it too. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and if you got any questions on how I built my outdoor course, uh, leave some comments in the ground. Uh, leave some comments below, and I really appreciate y'all watching. And thanks so much.